I'm in this stunning little river town called Campot and oh, it is beautiful. I'm staying at this beautiful little lodge right on the river's edge and it just feels so lush and tropical. It's known here for some of the most famous pepper in Cambodia because there's some pepper farms here. There's also some bat caves and you know lots of kayaking stuff like that to do in the river. I just came to relax for a few days and enjoy a bit of nature. From the minute I arrived here I knew this is exactly what my soul was craving. Being a river and lake person this little beautiful hideaway tucked away on the river's edge was incredible and the people here are amazing. I just felt right at home. I actually barely even wanted to leave the premises because I was loving it so much. A coffee press is one of my favorite ways to make coffee and probably one of my favorite pastimes because that is what I drink when I'm out in nature and in the forest in Canada. But this view ugh, doesn't get much better than this. Every time I find a place that I think I can live, I go to a new place and I fall in love all over again. Now that's exactly what happened here in Campot. <laughs> I love Campot. This place is amazing and also because my hometown in northern Canada is built right on the edges of a river so it's like river life for me and yeah it feels like a little piece of home. I love how the river has these little beach vibes because it looks like a little sandy beach on the other side but this is still just a river. It's actually a really nice little town to walk around. There's tons of streets, lots of shops and cafes. And yeah, it's not super busy. It's kind of just chill and nice. I really wanted to come and support this cafe because I just think it's so amazing that they're all inclusive and a lot of their staff do have disabilities but they want to make sure everybody has an equal opportunity in life and so that is what they do here. The food is incredible. This is a fresh made bagel loaded with veggies and there was cream cheese on there. It definitely tasted like it was made with pure love. I thoroughly enjoyed that bagel with vegetables. They were not stingy on that cream cheese. They loaded it on there, which I love. Fresh bagel with cream cheese. Yeah, highly recommend that cafe. Oh yeah, we need to take a minute to appreciate this little holder because they made it to go so that if I don't finish it here, I can walk with it. And these little holders make it so easy to walk with your drinks. That iced latte that I had with my vegetable bagel just wasn't quite enough coffee for me today. Today's a two coffee day. I actually stopped at this coffee shop called Brown's Social and I got a cocoa, an iced cocoa yuzo. So I wanted to try one of these for a while. What it is is an Americano with coconut water since I love coconuts and I do love a good Americano figured this is going to be delicious and because I have wanted to try it for a while so I'm excited. The ultimate taste test. Let's see if the weight was worth it. Hmm. It's interesting because the coconut water is a little bit sweet but it also has the coconut water flavor mixed with the coffee flavor. So I don't know. I like it. I do think I prefer my coffee and coconut water separate, but I'm glad I'm trying it today. There's like a little local square here and this is all local food vendors. So you can come here for the real Cambodian experience. I love it. At night, it gets a lot busier than in the day, but yeah, it's really cool. I'm here with my friend Britt. Hey. Hi. So we met in Battambang and now we're reuniting here in Kampot. 
Yeah, she decided to get some spring rolls. Are they good? Very good. Nice. And it's like here in the local square, so $2.50. I decided to get a Cambodia beer because I already had a bagel with vegetables. But it's good, it's refreshing, and it's $1. It's so nice in this little square. Oh, you didn't win. Oh yeah, and then she got a free one there. I forgot that I have a small collection of these and I should be cashing them in. Yeah, you can cash them in at the store. Okay. It is so beautiful down these little streets and they feel super lush. Just with all the green trees and the colors and the fruits. I love it. And there's tons of different restaurants to choose from. So that won't be oh, difficult. Really nice place on the right. Really? Yeah. And there's not like, it is a tourist destination, but it doesn't feel super touristy. There's not tons of people everywhere. Um, yeah, it's nice. There's one part of the day that I never wanted to be anywhere else but back at the hideaway and that was during sunset because the sunsets here are next level. They are so beautiful every day the sun goes down past those mountains and you know what the glistening colors on the water it's just fantastic and I couldn't get enough. It was pure magic every day. But I do also have to say, the mornings are quite spectacular as well. Look at how cute this little coffee stand is. I totally love it. It's my final morning in Campot, and I'm very sad to be leaving. I love it here. I definitely want to spend more time. I didn't do any sightseeing. I literally just truly enjoyed the last few days by the river and had some me time. Seen a bit of the sights, but definitely not to the extent that I had planned on and that's okay because sometimes we need that. I barely slept last night. I look incredibly tired but I stopped at the cutest little coffee shop to get a takeaway coffee before I get on the bus. But yeah, Campot was exactly what I needed. 